Hey guys, Robert and Ingrid here. We're about to go see Shazam 2. Kind of in a hurry, so we're just saying a quick hi video before we do to put the trailer in. So, what are you expecting? Fun? Fun. Same here. We'll see you guys then. Bye. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Hey guys, we just got out of it and what's the hate? It was really good. We really enjoyed it. Not flawless. But very enjoyable and fresh. It was, especially original villains. Yeah. No accident. These three have never been villains in a Shazam thing before. Mm -hmm. But it makes sense though. They're the daughters of one of the people who took his, he had his powers from. Yeah, it's just like, okay, we have this cool power of the gods and then it's just taking the next logical step of, okay, where did these come from and how do the people that these come from would have felt about it? Exactly. And of course, uh, uh, okay, uh, this is going to be a spoiler review. One of them happens to be more evil than the others and it's the most obvious one. Yeah. Lucy Lou, because it's one, chaos, two, it's Lucy Lou. Yeah. Out of all of the three of them, who's going to be the most recognizable? Oh, the reason yeah. why I have that trope, narrow it down to the one you recognize. Mm-hmm. But no, she had a great job with what she's given. I don't think she was a spectacular villain out of the three. Mm-hmm. Right, I kind of think she was the dullest of the three, to be honest. Yeah, the other two, you can clear had, tell had some real, like, internal tension going on. One, because she... The youngest? Youngest, because she wound up getting an attachment to the humans. And then the, the middle one, one seemed a lot more principled in comparison. I don't think she was the, the middle one. I think she was the eldest. Oh, yeah. Eldest one... A lot more principled by comparison. Did she, and the other, but the other one, the chaos one, driven by revenge. Mm -hmm. uh, Whereas it seems the elder one was more driven by the duty of to the duty of those who came before, and there's a big difference between those two. Exactly. But back to Billy and the others. First of all, it carries over for where it left off with his Billy. The fact that he and Mary are almost aging out. Mm -hmm. And he's just finally got a family after years and years of not having one. Of course he's going to be clutching on. Oh, yeah. And it's like, it shows because it's just like, hey, let's be together with the stuff. But everyone kind of wants to understandably go off and do their own things. Hey, Mary's, like, Billy's been able to convince Mary not to go to college. Mm -hmm. Although, uh, apparently she's old enough to drink. <laughs> you know which bit I'm talking about, right? Oh, yeah. Wearing the shades. I love how they don't even make that clear. Mm -hmm. Darla is still as adorable as ever. What happened during the bridge sequence? Buy some kitties, and then she keeps one. Like, is that a kitten? No. <laughs> and then she calls it Tawny. And then Talky Tawny. Yes. But yeah, but okay. They're doing a good job, but I gotta say though, Freddy's still the most annoying one. Yeah. He's a lot better here than he was in the first one, but still kind of annoying, yeah. Especially when he keeps on saying, "I'm Captain Every Power," and that's Captain Every Power Junior. I'm like, dude, I know you have an ego, but. Shut up. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, the other ones didn't get that much. Well, Pedro is apparently gay, although I thought that was cute, but tacked on. Yeah. It felt like, and apparently they were implying it in the first one. Didn't really see that, but apparently. But here, I mean, it was a cute moment, I'll be honest. But it's like, we're superheroes. I'm gay. Yeah, we know. <laughs> I mean, okay, that I didn't mind. Yeah, we know. <laughs> That was funny. That yeah, was that just... did fit it right into the humor of the thing, and they had some zingers in this. They one. had some good zingers, yes. But basically, villain plot is get the staff, drain their powers, and then get the get inside to the um, inside to get the app, the golden apple, the mm -hmm. apple of discord, so that they can go ahead and plant it and, re and reignite the gold, the god realm. Yeah, except one of the sisters wants to plant it. On and Earth and destroy it. And it ends up... Corrupting it. Corrupting it and producing a whole ton of Greek myth monsters. Oh, especially this... Oh, boy. That's one woman who's backing away when the tree's growing. And she almost got stabbed. And she's like... <sighs> <sighs> and then one of them comes out. It's a uh, minotaur. Not minotaur. What's the one with the scorpion tail? It's a manticore. Ma the manticore. And she gets stabbed. I'm like... Oh, that's rough. I felt so bad for her. Because they kept on focusing on her throughout the whole thing. And so it's like... I'm like, Pain. oh, I felt bad. Didn't know her name or anything, but I think that's how you set it up. Mm 
-hmm. If you linger on someone for so long, you think, oh, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. And, oh! Mm -hmm. Oh, we got an awesome dragon. Oh, yeah. Everything is better with dragons. Yep. But, yeah, and, oh, the wizard is still alive. Apparently, he was, uh, yeah. And, uh, and, of course, at first, he's all like, I made the wrong choice. I made the wrong choice. I mean, I don't blame him for thinking that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it turns out breaking the staff in the first movie, bad idea. Yeah, that's a break in the barrier between the god realm and the wizard sealed off so that they couldn't mess with stuff. Yep. Now, I will say this. If there's one downside about this movie, once they, they start attacking, the sisters start attacking Freddy at the beginning, it's no stopping. It is yeah. relentless. And I'm just like, okay. And it, we had some breezers, but not that much. There's still breezers that focused entirely on the next scene. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have Steve, uh, Steven. Oh, yeah, Steven. It's the, it's the, the, pen. Flo the, the floating sentient pen. Oh, boy, that was great. He's very smart, but very literal-minded. Yes. Which leads to a great bit where they're writing letters, and he's writing down literally what they're saying to the point where when it's like, thank you, Dar if you have the, the oldest sister reading the letter, and she's reading it all up and closing up like, thank you, Darla, and all stuff like that. It's like, you really start cracking up. Which was, which was your favorite part? <laughs> what was your favorite part of that letter? That she reads it so straight-faced. Oh, yes. Let's go get some Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get some Gatorade. It's just like... Now she's I also, want some Gatorade IRL. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we, there, there's so many good setups in here. Again, the chemistry but among them is good. Mm -hmm. The action is good. The writing is strong. Not that many force humor. This is better than Black Adam. Oh, this definitely. Does not feel dated. Violin. This does not feel dated like Black Adam did, did does it? Yeah, it definitely feels very much in line with, like, the modern... Except for Freddy, of course. Yeah, except for Freddy, but... Mm. Yeah, but, for, again, his stuff with Anne was good. Annie was good, to a point. Mm-hmm. The bit where them, at the, towards the end, of him trying to save him, that felt like... Really? Mm -hmm. Did that make sense to you? Not really. Uh, but yeah, basically they abduct. They, Freddy's the first one to get depowered, and uh, so, you know, of course they're holding him hostage, which leads into a great fight between the family and the eldest sister. Mm -hmm. That was a great fight. Mm -hmm. But you, I did feel something was off about it, which it turned out she was letting them do it. When? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If it didn't feel that way. I mean, it makes sense with what happens later in the movie. Yeah, she had to make it convincing, of course. Mm -hmm. I do like how they took her down, though. She's back gathering up this bowel of junk. And it's like, are you, do you have super speed? Swaps blazes? Wham! Yeah. She slammed herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't think so. And Zachary Levi was a phenomenal in this. Mm -hmm. And the actress playing Billy was actually coming off more like Zachary this time around, didn't he? Like, some of his talks, even his facial expressions were a bit more like Zachary. Whereas the last time, it felt like two different characters. This one felt more like they were the same, didn't they? Yeah. And that's a good thing. That's a good like, thing. Like, there is that beginning bit where with where he was at the pediatrician's <laughs> office, just kind of listening to uh, pediatrician. Up. And when he's in imposter syndrome, I'm like, that's exactly what he's feeling. Uh-huh. Oh, it turns out, uh, yeah, um, the town of city doesn't like him at first. Uh-huh. Also because they're so destructive. Well, I wish we found out what caused the bridge to just collapse. Yeah, I don't think that was ever really established. But that was a great sequence, still, and it, it showed was. off everything about everyone. Yeah. It was re really good. But I feel, again, Mary got the short shaft here. I mean, not as much as the, the other two boys, but, you know. Yeah. It felt like what they, they said, after her talk was with, with um, Billy, that was it really for her. Yeah. She was just there. Mm -hmm. And I love Mary. It feels like I think the writers love Freddy too much. Yeah. You gotta you get that favorite vibe. Character. Yep. Favorite character syndrome. Yep. Is it just me, though? Or, I mean, it's the same actress, both as Mary and Empowered, but uh, did she look a little more stacked as Powered, Empowered Mary? Hmm. It's the way her outfit looked. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Probably a way to make it clear she's older, I bet. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, um, but again, the writing is strong in this. Yeah. It's, I guess, not, it's not going to win any Oscars or anything. And is it the best writing we've ever seen? No. There's still some fumbles. Mm -hmm. Like, what kind of fumbles, what kind of issues would you have said besides the ones that off to the race that doesn't stop? Besides that. Hmm. Can I feel like, again, the stuff with Freddie and Annie was good. 
It was definitely good at first, but I think it went a little too long. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that one. Yeah, it went a little too long, especially. She just walks right onto the rooftop saying, like, Freddie, you're okay. I'm going to try and convince my sister. And then walks right off again. That made me like, hmm. You should have seen the perplex look on my face. It's just like, uh, she just walks on, talks, and then walks off. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it feel a little off to you? Like, Well, now that you mention it. Yeah, she just walks from around the van and walks off away from around the van after she leaves. It's just like, mm -hmm. uh... That felt a little tacked on. Like, they realized we need one more sequence there. Like, yeah. it's, it's like, we don't, like, let's just have her walk on and walk off. It's just like, mm. I know. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it feels like it was added on afterwards, you know? Yeah. And, um, again, Lucy Lou, she was giving her all, but I don't think she was written that strongly as the others. She felt so, yeah. like, I want revenge. I want revenge. I want revenge. Yeah, they could have added something that maybe made I mean, her. I Lucy Liu, like... she's an incredible actress, but here, I'm not saying she was phoning it in. I will not say that. Because once she got into the action, she was good. Especially when she was calling for the, um, the dragon. You know what I mean? Like, come forth and destroy! You're like, she wanted more of that to sink her teeth into. But we didn't get my... I mean, you could also do you think about Blast acting like she's riding on that dragon, you know? Mm-hmm. But again, it just felt like she was two-dimensional out of the three. I feel like one way you could have really easily fixed that as to why she would more go for the burn everything to the ground route is if she was kind of Daddy's Atlas's little girl or something. And so as such, she takes it as a more personal slight now that Dad's dead. But they gave that, but instead they gave the explanation to the eldest. And I loved her analogy. If someone robbed your family of, your, of all of its treasures and then dropped it and your neighbor um, took it, would you still blame them and feel like, you know, basically all that? I'm like, she has a point. Yeah. Again, writing like that is so strong. The acting is strong. Mm -hmm. for, again, for most of them. Even their adoptive family, I loved. Mm -hmm. Although, then what was the point of saying, you bought the house? I'm like, <laughs> okay, that felt a little tacked on, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> at the end, they barely re they self repair the house. This is why you don't have kids repair your house. That was funny. You know, the wizard eventually realizes, no, he made the right, right choice because it was the wisdom of his heart. But I got to say, the other thing is they set up, he doesn't seem to tap into the wisdom of Solomon. They don't really resolve that, aside from yeah, the wisdom of your heart. it's kind of a lingering plot thread. Oh, like the ending. Mm -hmm. The ending. First of all, he sacrificed himself. No joke. Yeah, it's like, no it's joke. a legit sacrifice. And it's an incredible one. The action here was way better than the yeah, last one. Yeah, in this case, it's sort of a plan where they're sort of established early on that the eldest sister made this kind of dome. This, this kind, field. Yeah. Yep, and nothing gets through, nothing in gas. So they're stuck in there, except going to the Rock of Eternity, of course. Mm-hmm. And basically... Um, uh, so, uh, oh, and, and then, but then, at the, but then also part ways through, Billy realizes it reacts violent, violently to his lightning. Mm-hmm. Plus, he also realizes as well, the staff, which they repaired, and it can absorb. It's like a battery. And what happens when you put too much energy in it? Boom! It's like a bomb. Of course, if he had done that, it would wiped out everything was in the dome. So what do you do? Shrink down the dome, because the eldest sister isn't on board with the... Burn everything to the ground plan. Exactly. And I gotta say, at first we we're like, wait a minute, why is it destroying anything soon? Once it's spring close, it's, uh, it solves up again. You're like, oh. Because that was a little confusing at first, right? Mm -hmm. But then the visual cues made it clear. Then after that, um, yeah, they have a big fight. And I like how he gets a few blows in before the big boom. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But again, it felt like there wasn't that much banter. Yeah, it was just kind of a no holds barred fight. Yeah, but I like villains with you know hero and villain banter. Oh yes, the but, boss banter is a lot of the fun. But yeah, we didn't get much of that here. I think that was the other problem. Mm-hmm. Would you agree with that? Felt like Lucy Liu's character was just there. Mm hmm You know what I mean? Riding the dragon. The dragon was awesome. The effects on the dragon were awesome. Mm-hmm. But I still had an issue. But yeah. But then who shows up at the very end? Well, actually no, let's rewind earlier. Billy's obsessed with Wonder Woman. Not that I blame him. Mm -hmm. And he has a dream, which, if you've seen the meme of it looks like the wizard's face is on Wonder Woman's body, that ain't a joke. That ain't it a was, Photoshop. 
It was a dream gone wrong. A dream gone wrong where he just got, it puts his head. But I do like how they do the fake shemp, you know, thing with one Diana to make you think like, oh, it's going to be like Superman. We're never going to see your face. Mm -hmm. Can you remember that at the end of the first one? Remember? Oh, yeah. Oh. But what happened when it's time reveal at the end? The staff and the drain. Only gods can do it and there are no more gods left. Who shows up? Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. Yes! And she charges it up and she was great for this brief cameo, but vital appearance. Yeah, and Billy comes like back. It, but yeah, it's like it wasn't just for fan service. There was a very good plot reason for because it. Because she is the last de god. Mm hmm. She's the last one because she's the daughter of Zeus. Mm hmm. Which, of course, we'd have been like, just because I, you know, you're the daughter of Zeus and I have a Zeus enemy, that doesn't mean we're not, you know, we're related or whatever, did she? <laughs> I was all about, she's just, she's trying to keep it together, you know? She's just yeah. like, oh, boy. It's like, she knows he's a little kid. Mm -hmm. So she's trying to be polite. But you're also going to tell, she's like, get me out of here, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Diana can only take so much, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah. Again, this was, but yeah, her showing up and yeah, tearing the theme and everything. And we're like, oh, but yeah, Billy's alive again. And yeah, the, oh, they have to reveal themselves to their adopted parents, which that was a great sequence. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, and then, yeah, and then turns out the wizard takes the staff with him. And at the very, very end, one, we have, uh, Jan, and Jade and James, whatever, it's, um, James Gunn's wife. Mm -hmm. uh, she shows up with the other guy, but saying, how'd you like the justice? Yes, yes, society. Yeah, wait, what? And I didn't love later, it's like, because it's supposed to be like, you know, I want you to join the Avengers Initiative. Mm -hmm. It's then supposed to be like, I, I, I love that sequence because it gives us the before they show up sequence. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you're always like, you always wonder, what led to them getting from there to there, you know? In this case, yeah. we actually see them. They're walking there, and the other guy's like, oh, I wish, you're like, sorry you didn't bring your walking shoes. They're boots, you know, stuff like that. I don't think James Gunn wrote that scene. <laughs> but um, but yeah, and then but he's like, the Avenger Society. I like that for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and then we find out also Savannah's been stuck in prison as Mr. Mind is still getting stuff right. He's like, I'm a worm, I slither. Okay, tell me. I will tell you. I got one more thing to do. No, no, no. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> that was a great pot shot. The fact that they set it up and did nothing with it. That's like He's still getting it all set up. <laughs> and I love that one again. So I was like, I'm 57 years old in the room for all you know, killers and all that. <laughs> again, this was such a good movie. Was it perfect? Flawless? No. But so much fun. It deserves so much better, unfortunately, because it's tanking at the box office. This is the last we'll see of them. Yeah. Now, it does feel like at least it didn't end that much on a cliffhanger, at least. Yeah. It does have some finality to it that if it ends here... We'll be pretty satisfied. It's a shame we didn't see Mr. Mind do anything, but... Yeah, I think we'd be satisfied. I just... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I love this. Again. Wait, probably the best superhero movie I've seen so far. Hey, guys. Sorry about that. I lost um, space, but... Yeah, overall, this was still a very good movie. Mm -hmm. But I think Sam deserved better with the box office. Not a better movie, because this was a very fine movie. Mm -hmm. But is there better? I would give it a strong 7.9 out of 10. I have to agree. I think Black Adam hurt, though. Yeah. It definitely hurt it. The Rock hurt it. Mm -hmm. Because, one, wouldn't it have been awesome if we actually saw Black Adam in this movie? Yes. Black Adam. Good granted, we have a great, strong story here. Nothing about that. But I think that would put butts in the seats if a rock was in here. And I think that's the one downside of why you don't do original villains, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Because you don't, you're not, and what are you supposed to tease it on? I mean, to, to be honest, when you looked at the, um, the, um, the trailers, didn't get much of the pot away. And I, they were ba banking more on people who liked the first one, which let's be honest, the first one wasn't the biggest box office hit. No, it wasn't. So I think the marketing failed it too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, again, overall, go out and see it, guys. Ignore the critics. The critics don't know what the hell they're talking about. Go out and You'll see You'll have it. a fun time. You will. You don't even I'm... have to have seen the first one, to be honest. Yeah, you can get by without knowing what happened in the first one. And I'm kind of glad that this is the sort of return to 
I got to us at the movies rather than Quantumania, which got shut down because I unfortunately had COVID. Yep, and I ended up seeing it. There's a reason I didn't do a video on it. It was all right. Mm -hmm. it wasn't phenomenal. It was good for what it was, but it was definitely, it felt like an Avengers pod shoved into an Ant-Man movie. It, yep. it felt like we need to introduce Kang. What's next on the docket? Ant-Man. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. We didn't mention one other thing. Darla with the um, the Skittles. Oh, yes, the Skittles. That moment was brilliant. The one, like, uh, and the unicorns. But especially, like, taste the rainbow. And later, taste the rainbow, motherfucker. I'm like, <laughs> Darla said that? <laughs> it's always funniest when it's the characters you least expect to do it. Uh, any of the others, but Darla saying, taste the rainbow, motherfucker. like... I hope that actress, I mean, obviously she's older than she was in the last one, but still, it's like, she's definitely older, but the thing is that she still acts like a young kid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to bring that up, but yeah. yeah. Overall, again, go out and see it, guys. You will not be disappointed. You will have a good time. That's all. What else could you want? Uh-huh. That's what you want at the movies. Yep. Good popcorn flick. I won't call it a turn your brain off flick. It's definitely not a turn your brain off. Mm-hmm. Would you agree with that? I would agree with that. They do get a little bit into the weeds at times. Black Adam was turning your brain off. Yeah. This yeah. one at least feels like they knew what they were talking about. Like, hey, those are very specific Greek monsters they're referencing. Oh, hey, Golden Apple, Apple of Discord. It's like... Yep. And um, also, um, Billy can't let go. Mm -hmm. You can believe that. You can understand that. And again, he's like, I'm going to let go. I've been holding you all back. Fly now. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so go out and see it, guys. Have take fun. Take care.